Um, being an alumni from Milford, I just take a lot of pride in, in the school and what Milford High School has to offer. It's an outstanding community. Um, one of the main reasons why my wife and I moved back here, and uh, you know, just a great place to raise kids. And I feel like uh, what a better way to give back uh, to our community than uh, by doing what I do here on a daily basis and um, what the school has to offer on a daily basis. And, uh, part of that too, giving back, is I think what the game of basketball has gave to me as a kid. Um, it's one of the things that inspired me to coach. And um, so, Milford basketball, I've just taken a lot of pride in trying to create the best possible program and culture um, during the winter sports season that, that we possibly can. And so, you know, Milford basketball is just something I take a lot of pride in. Again, playing my four years here, um, coming back and being a part of this community. And I'm, I'm thankful that I can leave uh, just a, a place where I can leave as a mark. As a shooter, uh, as an offensive player to get better, you're doing four minutes of being an outstanding teammate. Okay. Current group right now, um, it's, a, it's a great group of young men um, who have actually been through a lot. You know, experiencing the loss of Cole last year, you're bringing up a junior class who was, you know, um, really tied in with him and uh, a senior class that has been very highly dedicated to this program um, and, and a couple of new faces as well coming from different schools so it's just a it's a good mix of kids coming from a lot of different backgrounds and have been through a lot of different things the group of guys that we have right now it's really just like we get along so well that on the court our chemistry is amazing but even off the court it might even be better like we always push each other, it's always positive. Um, the current group of guys that we have right now, uh, I just love hanging out with them outside of basketball. Um, they're, so, uh, they're just really fun to be around. Um, you know, that's been a big emphasis for us, is making sure that our culture is strong with the mix of the things that they've been through and the mix of kids. Um, so we wanted to make sure our culture is strong, and this is one of the more talented teams we've ever had at the top. And so it's exciting to, to work with talent, have talent, guys who understand the game of basketball extremely well. Um, we're doing some high level things right now, so it's a very, very exciting time um, in Milford basketball. Really excited. Um, last year, last first game, first home game, it's going to be a good crowd, and excited to get a win, and excited to start the season off finally. You know, I feel like our whole team's just really excited to get the ball just rolling and start playing games, and I'm really excited to like bring hype. You know, we're going to have a huge student section there to support us, and we're going to be ready for this game. We've been working hard and I think we're going to be ready for it. Um, I expect us to win first off. Uh, I think we're focused defensively a lot more than offensively right now and I think there's going to be a lot of special things happening out there. A uh, big focus for us this year is uh, defensively. Doing a lot of defense, defense, defense and some more defense this year. So that's our big uh, statement this year is going to be the best defensive team. Um, in our division, so. And then you guys have eight minutes here to get really warmed up, that neighbor will become a better ball handler. Okay, use this 16 minutes purposely. Let's have a great warm up and lead into a great play. Hey, let's bring it up right here. Hey, family on three. One, two, three, family. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That they won. I thought they scrapped harder. I thought these guys <laughs> didn't, didn't want to lose. That's real. Okay, you gotta keep losing. Gotta hate losing. Let's go, boys. Ahead. Keep working. Keep working. Oh Season opener, uh, you know, anytime you have a season opener, it's very exciting. Um, I think the guys at this point are ready to see what it's like in an actual game. We've had a couple scrimmages and things, but uh, going in Friday night, we have a home opener um, for our first game, you know, so I think people, there's a little bit of a buzz around the school because they, they know the potential that this team has. So uh, very excited uh, for Friday night. Um, and, uh, you know, at, at this point in the season, it's let's go out and see what we're made of. Hey, you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, 
a long, long time for this That's crazy. Home opener. <laughs> That's nuts. I want you to think about, you know, where you guys were a year ago, you know, what we're what we we're thinking about. Um, it's a new time, you know, it's uh it's exciting. So I'm pumped to get going. It's kind of the calm before the storm. Once I leave this room, this, this locker room is yours. You guys do what you got to do to get ready. Uh, I think there's a lot of a lot of expectations for this group this season, right? And I think I want you guys to understand those expectations. Um, and they're exciting, right? I'm excited to watch you play. I and mean, you guys should be excited too. Um, I can foresee, especially with this team and the kind of frantic way that they play, you guys getting out of your element a little bit. So what I want you guys to do, especially these starting five, is just be in a rhythm, be in that court with your teammates, block out everything else, people in the stands, anything else going on, expectations, points you want to score, whatever it is, block it out, have some fun and play, play some ball. I was sitting in here with JT and Aiden as they were shooting around 2 o'clock today and I said, <clears throat> from the beginning of June, we went to Hope, we played 29 scrimmages or so-called, whatever, mini games, whatever you want to call it, right? Okay, we won 24 of those. Okay, of 29, we're 24 and five. Okay, it's summer basketball, I don't count that stuff, but I also understand, I'm nervous because I'm the coach and I get nervous and that's just how it's gonna be, right? But I also trust you guys know how to go out there and play without a scout report, without understanding what a team does. You can go out there and compete with anybody in the state of Michigan, okay? So understand that you guys are basketball players, you make basketball decisions, you should be extremely confident walking out on the floor tonight, and you gotta go out there and play that way. But you gotta set the tone early. He said it the other day in practice. First four minutes of the first half, second four minutes of the second half, okay? Set the tone early, okay? Get them questioning what's going on. Hey. Here we go, family on three, one, two, three. Hey. 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 two guys here and there's one guy here, then there's not two guys to cover use, our wings and Use cover. your dribble until they stop you guys. Use your dribble. Don't uh, I think the biggest thing that we all have to do, like you said, is it's one on four, like you said, with that transition. We gotta just pull back out and run our offense for most of us. Because at the beginning of the quarter, we were just head down going and we need to bring it out. Hey, two minutes left. Hey, first four minutes. It's over. It's nine point lead right now. 12-0 run, okay? run, it's over. Let's go. Here we go, team on three. One, two, three, team. Let's go, boys. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
practice. That's a great win right there. Way to start the season. Anybody else? 8 a.m. tomorrow. 8 a.m. Yes. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. shake the cobwebs off, get rolling. Well, here's what I love about this team and this culture that you've created, okay? The place was rocking, all right? It was an awesome beginning crowd. Usually first game, it kind of takes, you sometimes you have to win to get your fans out there, right? We've already done that, that's your culture, okay? The bench was, you had to be told to sit down by a ref. That's my favorite thing a ref ever tells me is when he has our players sit down because we're being too lively for the guys that are at the end of the game. That is culture, okay? Winning is culture. All right, we told you culture wins the game. Culture is what we're about, and your culture won tonight, okay? We, we weren't great, okay? You know that, but our culture won tonight, okay? And you guys did an outstanding job rallying together. Like I said, it wasn't pretty, but we go back, watch film, we're evaluating, and give it better tomorrow. Okay? Uh, in regards to the Lakeland thing, I, I absolutely hate that it's like, you know, six, day, you know, six seven days later, right? I hate it. So what I want mentality-wise is, you know, Lakeland's not going to make or break this team this year, one way or the other. Okay, so what we're going to do is is think about them, think about us, enjoy this team, enjoy this win, think about it, practice hard, work hard for a couple of days, and then we'll do some scouting on them. We'll go in them. We'll go in there, and then we'll beat them. Good dollar, baby. Great win, boys. Family at three. One, two, three. Family, great day. First win, you know, the first one's always nerve-wracking. You don't know much about the other team, and you're just kind of doing those first game jitter type things. And um, I've told our guys before they should be confident. We had a great fall, a great summer, and we got a great team, and um, we're high on our expectations. So it was uh, it was a good way to just get in, get the game out, and then we can move on to the next one. If I said our focus is the next game, okay? So now we just turn the page and we flip to the next one and we take it one game at a time. You know, it was just a great way to start the season. We played well. We clicked together a lot. and. After having to sit half last year, it just feels so great to get out there with these guys. I think it was a great game. It was a great start. Um, obviously, like Kyle said, uh, huge, huge win. To, huge. That was the expectation this year to start off with a win like that. And it was a great way. I mean, everyone came out and played. I mean, big game from JT. I mean, it was huge. And uh, Gunner did his job in the second half when he was in the game. So, I mean, it was a great win. Great win. Next week is a, obviously a big game. You know, it's Lakeland. So, we're going to bring it. And it'll be a good game. It's so next week, man. Game. It's not going to determine our season, but it's definitely a game that's marked on our schedule, so we'll be ready for it.